Hi everyone, how are you going? I'm on to do some inches, twinches and three inches. So that's one inch, two inch and three inch squares. So I'm going to start by getting my background done and I thought I actually might theme these ones into a, a steampunk kind of um, theme. Okay, so I've got just got a piece of nice thick uh, cardboard, which I think is about 400 and something GSM. So, and I'm going to use this side here because it's a bit marked, and I'm only going to start putting bots. I'm going to start by putting some paint on it, and I want, really want to use up some of this black gesso that's gone a bit hard so I've just mixed a bit of water with it and I'm going to start by just brushing this on here in any old fashion okay so that's one layer done and I'm going to get my heat gun and dry this I'm actually running a little bit late doing my inches, twinches and trenches. This is for the swap in Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More Facebook group. And I'm running a little bit behind. I've got everything else done, but I've got to get these done so I can get the swap out. I think we have to have it out by the 8th. Okay, that's pretty dry. And now I'm going to bring in another colour which is the dark turquoise. Um, I'll give that another shake. I don't have much of this one left and I can't remember where I brought it from. Semco. Must be somewhere local. So I'm just going to put some of this down. That should be enough. Far too much, but that will do. And get my brush again and just brush this on it's a bit too much paint there Wendy <laughs> so it's really not looking like much at the moment but I intend to pretty it up still wet I'm thinking about bringing some of this into it now this one's gone all gluggy but I'll just see how it goes some big blobs over it okay I think that's about all I'm going to get out of that one but I've got a little bit on there anyway. Thank God I'm using an old brush. Alright, so that'll do that. That can be thrown out now, I think. Okay, now I'll give that a dry. And now I'm going to... Um, the theme... Oops, don't do that. I just put my heat tool on some ATCs that were drying. Uh, so the theme of this one was the trade it um, and it was like texture and things like that um, so I'm just thinking I'm going to put use some modeling paste and I've got a couple of stencils here I've got my steampunk cog one and a circle and this pretty cool looking one here so I might just put this, put a little bit of um, modelling paste using this one.
Okay, so I've got some of that one on. Now I'm just going to let this dry and then I'm going to come in with some more modelling paste and a different stencil. Okay, so that modelling paste there is dry and I just thought I might like to put... I don't know if I want the circles on there or not. I'll just put some cogs all around the place. Uh, let's think. Okay. I will put a couple of circles on. So I'll grab my modelling paste again. Yeah. Let's just put uh, just a few little circles on for another another texture. Okay, so I have to let that one dry. Um, I might just do another, just there and here. Okay. Oops, that one wasn't quite dry. That's okay. All right, let this dry and I shall come back. All right, I've got my circles pretty well dry. I think, <laughs> I hope. And now I am actually going to come in and just put some more modelling paste on um, with and use the steampunk ones. So, let me see. Um, and I'm actually going to go over the other ones as well. The other I think I've got too much modelling paste on there. But I'll just keep going. This is such an awesome stencil. I've been um, Getting the stencils from scrapbookingandcraft.com, which is an Aussie lady, these 6x6 stencils, and I just love them. Okay, now I'll just grab a baby wipe if I can. There we go. And I'm just going to wipe that modelling paste up off there before it goes hard. Easier to clean. And just run my finger down the side of that to get rid of those little dregs. Okay, so I've got that there. And I'm going to put another lot just about there. And I'm not really worrying about where I'm putting them because it's going to be cut up into the inches, twinches and trenches. So I'm just going to try for a nice coverage so that I've got some in certain um, places. I won't have the full, like I might not have a full cog in the background, and but that's okay. So I've got that one there. Let's lift that up. Come on. Okay. And now just a couple down here. So I might just go there. And just turn it round this way. And put a few more over here. About there, I think. Um, let me see. 
maybe just a couple of little cogs down this side here. Okay, now I really have to let that have a dry before I carry on with the next step. But so far so good. Very cool. Okay, I'll catch you when I get back. Okay, my background's done. And I'm just going to bring in my spray box. Because I'm going to play with some sprays. Just have some fun with it. And see how it turns out. And if it doesn't turn out, I can always do another one. <laughs> Okay, so I've got it in my spray box and I have grabbed, what have I got here? I've got a melted chocolate spray, which I don't know if that's going to work or not. And I've got a tinsel spray, um, I've got a glimmer mist, some um, coffee shop, and I've got a Dilusions Vibrant Turquoise and then I've just got a couple of these um, the gold and the bronze just from the from Kmart they were just cheap ones and I thought I might like to try them um, I don't know what other colour to that I'd like to put in here um, Okay, let's just go with that. So I'm going to start with the vibrant turquoise and just I'm just keeping my fingers crossed it's going to spray. Okay, so let's go. Yep, it's going to spray. Okay, so got that on there, and I'll bring in some of this. Um, I'll try this one, the melted chocolate first. Hmm, different. But I like it. Okay. The melted chocolate. Now I've got a bit on there and I'm just gonna see if it's going to drip at all. Hmm, it is a little bit. Uh, I will have to seal these after. Um, okay, I'm liking that. I really am so far. So I might put a little bit more of that melted chocolate on. And see how that goes. Because it is getting a bit lighter. It would get really drippy if I put sprayed a bit of water on it. Let's see. <laughs> Let's experiment. Because it those um, dilutions react with the water. And it's starting to get a bit drippy. And I'm liking it so far. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make the drips go where I want them to. But that doesn't always work. Okay. Okay, I'm really liking that. That looks pretty cool. I might just put a bit more um, of the chocolate on just in these lighter areas. Because I like how that um, that has just had the chocolate over that and it's just gone really light so I'm going to give it another spray in those lighter parts and I'm actually going to give this um, turquoise one another spray too because I like that colour okay a little bit too much there Wendy all right let's see how that goes See if I can get some drips from this. <gasps> oh gosh, nearly wore it. <laughs> Hang on to it, Wendy. Okay. Oh, that's looking so good. I really like that. 
Come on. I'll go this way. Yep, that looks so cool. I know it's going to get a lot lighter um, before it actually dries, but oh, I really like that. That is so cool. Put a bit more of this chocolate up in this corner. Okay, because I know that's going to get lighter, like this here. Oops. All right, I'm going to let that just stop spraying, Wendy. Stop spraying. <laughs> Can't help myself. Okay, all right, I'm going to let this dry. Oh, look at that looks so yummy. That really does. And you can start to see a bit of the background coming through too with the, the gold that I... Um, that old gold paint. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, but that looks so cool. And I can see it's lightening up now too over the in some spaces. So let it dry and just see what it looks like when I come back. But so far so good. Ooh. Okay, see you then. This my piece of um, A4 paper background, it's it's dry to touch, but I'm really not sure how dry it really is <laughs> with that modeling paste but it has gone a lot lighter but what I really like is you can see the bits of that the um, what did I put on there that old gold paint coming through and that looks so cool I never ever thought that would happen I just thought it'd all get covered up but that looks so awesome. So um, I'll just move my spray box and my squeaky chair. I think I've got to do something about it. <clears throat> and I'm not going to put any more sprays on it because you know what I'm like with sprays. I just don't stop. <laughs> Especially with the gold and the bronze. So I'm just going to get out a little um, bronze paint. If I can find it. Uh, and I know I can't find it because it's sitting up here on my desk. Okay, so I've just got this little bronze here. And what I'm thinking is just getting a dry brush, just a small one. And lightly going over the the raised parts of where the modeling paste is so I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and just gently swipe over the um, Swipe over the raised parts where the modelling paste is. Maybe my finger might be better. I'll try my finger. Yes, it is. That's uh, much better. So I will go and do this. Oh, yep, that looks so cool. I'll go and do this to the whole page and see how it turns out. Get a bit more on there. Okay, that may be a bit too much, but it's on there now. Got a little bit too much on the background, but I don't think that's going to worry me. You can still see the colours coming through. Okay, I think that might be it. I don't think I've missed any spots, or have I? Yep, a little bit down here. Okay, 
So, I put a bit too much over this side here, but that's okay because it's got to be cut up anyway. But I like it. That looks pretty cool. That was a good experiment. I enjoyed that. Just spray and spray and spray. So I'll let that have a little dry. And then I'm going to actually um, seal it. I'm going to put a... What am I going to do? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to give it a seal with the, the spray or something like that. <laughs> uh, I stop talking and the words stop coming to. Okay, so but so far so good. Might look pretty cool cut up into smaller pieces. I shall see. I know I've got the ink all on my fingers. I didn't even think of that. Okay, got to go and wash them off. I shall be back.